short video on my first homemade quadcopter. There's going to be three videos on this quadcopter. Today will just be the frame assembly portion of it, and the next video will be the uh, electronics and then made in flight. I don't have any experience in flying these quadcopters or any type of uh, like helicopters or anything like that. All I have is the electric uh, RC airplanes that I build and buy, so hopefully it goes well and I'll learn some new things about uh, quadcopters. I was able to put this quadcopter together from uh, all the YouTube videos out there, RC groups forums. There's tons of uh, great information out there, pictures, ideas, and whatnot. That's where I got everything uh, uh, that I needed to put this together. So this is going to be, uh, like I said, just the assembly portion of it. I'm going to show you a few more pictures a close video of uh, how I put this together and uh, make sure you subscribe because I have a big shipment of uh, electronics coming from Hobby King so I can uh, finish this up and part two coming soon on that and made in flight in the future and thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to just run through this really quick. This is just a typical CD cover that I just happened to have laying around which was great. I didn't have to buy a big pack of CDs and not use them. Anyways, this is just plywood. We've got two layers here, and then I got a third one here. That's where the battery strap and battery's gonna go. Uh, in here would be the wire harness. Uh, in here, we're gonna run all the wires for the ESCs. Then it's gonna come up. I got some holes down there. Uh, the CD bottom here. I got some bolts going right through. Uh, I'm using these O-rings right here in place on all four sides for uh, vibration purposes. I don't know uh, if these motors will create any vibration or I'm sure they will a little bit. So anyways, I, I put some uh, O-rings there to help with the vibration. And uh, right here is what's going to be where my circuit board is going to go. I got those dimensions from the website or the internet and I hope they're correct because they're already installed. And this is just little wooden dowels and I glued the bottom portion and uh, they do have some movement, just a little bit of movement, so that should help for any crashes or whatnot. And uh, I did the same thing with the uh, O-rings on these right here, where it's going to sit. And got a couple of different holes for wires and whatnot. So uh, and then we'll have some nuts going to go right here, tighten this down. Not too tight, of course. You want those uh, O-rings to do the work. And this is, like I said, just plywood, birch plywood, I believe it is. I got a picture of it here shortly. These are just a long, I think they come in three foot sections, L-shape aluminum, and uh, I hope it's strong enough, it should be. I've seen people build this thing with all wood, so I don't see a problem with that. So, here you go. I will show you a few more pictures, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, please let me know. If I'm doing something wrong, like I said, this is my first quad, so. Thanks again for watching, guys.